Happy Halloween, gamers. So today I'm gonna to be showing you my Zorga Nadir deck profile, a uh, very spooky-licious deck going on here. And I know there is an entire Halloween theme of cards with Lyrical Monasterio. I don't have them. So I got the closest thing, which is Zorga. So I figured for the spirit of Halloween to stay in the spooky theme and keep the spooky vibes, I'm gonna be showing you a Zorga Nadir deck profile. But before we get into that, we're gonna real quickly talk about our sponsor, which is 50 Cards, which you guys already know. You can pick up singles, bundles, play sets, deck boxes, whatever you need for Cardfight Vanguard, and you can get 5% off when you use code Nexus. So thank you to 50 Cards, and we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into the deck profile. Wow, that held really well. Shout out Ultimate Guard for that. That was awesome. So for those who are new to the Zorga deck, the whole kind of focus point of the deck is order cards. So the idea is that you can play all your order cards um, twice at a time via Alka Magic, and you have a bunch of orders in the deck and you wanna play them as much as you possibly can. So we're gonna be go ahead and going into my Zorga Nadir deck profile and show you guys what I'm running with. So starting off with the ride line, we have Disastrous Slurper, because same, Abyss Fishing, Split the Preordain, and of course Zorga Nadir as our main grade three unit. So to go into the ride line, Slurper is your draw. And then we have Abyss Fishing, which lets you look at the top seven for a normal order and a normal unit. The normal unit goes to drop, the order goes to your hand. Super simple. Split the Preordain, very simply put, is when you ride Zorga, you put an order into your hand. So you can get a free ride off that. Then you have Zorga Nadir, which is your main boss grade three. Nadir lets you perform Alka Magic, which is where you can play, essentially play two normal orders at a time. One from your hand, the other one is gonna be one that's in your bind zone. Once per turn, you can E-Blast two to bind a normal unit from your drop zone. Choose up to two cards from your drop, call them to rear guard circles. They get 5K for every normal order with different card names in your bind zone till the end of the turn, and then you retire them. The divine skill, once per game, when this unit attacks a grade three or greater unit, soul blast one, choose a column, stand all the rear guards in that column, and at the end of that turn, you retire them. So that's your big old finisher to make that final push with that fourth attack. So, you know, the whole point is to stack up your bind zone, do a bunch of outcome magic, get a bunch of buffs to your rear guards and uh, do a big old swing. So that's it for the ride deck. We're gonna go ahead and jump right into the main deck. Starting off with the grade threes, we got three more copies of Zorgan Adir for Persona Ride. And then our other normal unit is two copies of Roaming Prison Dragon. Roaming Prison has a really cool effect, which is when it's in the drop zone, when you play an order, you call it to rear, it gets 10K or a crit, but if you Alka Magic, it gets both. So you get a nice little 15K beater with a crit, put a big old booster behind it, you got a big old number, and you can restand it with the Divine Skills. So it's nice to have, and it's a really good early discard target. So I'm gonna move these out of the way to go into our grade three order cards. First is Clouded Miasma, which is really simple. You call a card from your drop zone uh, for a Cannibal S1. And if you Alka Magic, you can give your Vanguard the skill where your front row gets 5K until the end of the turn. So nice little extra power there. Then we have one copy of Death Inviting Black Magic, which is Counterblast 4 to draw two cards, but you can reduce the cost of the Counterblast for each card in your bind zone. So since you're binding your order cards repeatedly, uh, this gets reduced quite a bit. So you can essentially get to a point where it's like Counterblast 1, draw 2, or even, you know, just play it for free, draw 2. One copy of Clutch of Grudge Toxin, you can only use it if you have a Zorga with Divine Skill. And what it does is it gives your Vanguard the ability when it attacks, you retire a rearguard, choose an opponent's rearguard, retire it, and then your Vanguard gets 10k until the end of the battle. So good to give your Vanguard power early. Also good to get rid of some pesky rearguards, so it's nice to have and it's free, there's no cost. Then we also have one copy of Fill the Skies Obranda Corpse, which is if you have Vanguard with Zorga and Divine Skill, you can play it, choose a Vanguard, and it gets all of your rearguards that are placed from drop, get 5k until the end of the turn. So just giving your rear guards extra power, which doesn't hurt. And then lastly, one copy of Radiance Caliburn, which is our Regalis piece. So what you can do is you can either play it to draw two cards or you can put it into the soul to counter charge, but we're essentially doing it to like, you know, just draw a bunch of more cards. So it's really nice and you can only use it once per game. So it's, you know, you fish it out, you bind it, then you play it, you're done with it. You don't have to worry about it. So that's it for the grade threes. We're gonna go ahead and jump into the grade twos. Starting off with the grade twos, we got four copies of Shadow Cloak. Shadow Cloak is really important to the deck because what it does is when it's placed on rear from your hand, you can search your deck for one order card. And if your drop zone does not have a card 
with the same name as that unit, you can put it into your drop zone, making it easy for you to kind of filter through and do Nadir's effect. Then also when you play in order, you can Soul Blast one, this gets 5K. If you outcome magic, you can choose a rear guard and return it to your hand. So this is really good if you want to call things from the drop zone and then bounce it back to your hand with Shadow Cloak. So it's really good for like getting PGs in your hand if you want. It's like little things like that. So there's fun little combos you can do with Shadow Cloak, but this card's super important and you definitely want to run for. Next up, we're gonna be going into our next normal unit grade two, which is Impending Karma. Impending Karma is when it's placed on rear. You can Soul Blast, or sorry, E Blast for buying a normal order from your drop. This gets 5K for each normal order with different card names in your bind zone. So you make this a big old beater. Also, when it's in the drop zone at the beginning of your battle phase, if you have a Vanguard with Zorga with Divine Skill and you performed Alka Magic, you can call this to rear. And if your opponent's Vanguard is grade three or greater, this gets a crit. So it's similar to Roaming Prison, except you don't have to, you know, do it within the timing because it's at the beginning of your battle phase. So you can establish all of your Alka Magic procs, wait, and then call Karma afterwards. So Karma is really nice for that, but now there's multiple units that call from the drop and get power and crit. So your whole front row is gonna be these crazy strong beaters. But that's it for the normal units. We're gonna go into the order cards. For grade twos, we have one copy of Gather Upon Me, Ye Wandering Souls, which is play this with discard an order from hand, choose a Vanguard, it gets drive plus one. So it's just nice to have because triple drive is pretty cool. Then I am running one copy of the Blitz Order, Fine Drink of Abolishment, for sins, almost said of sins. To play it, you Soul Blast one, you draw a card, choose one of your units and it gets 5K uh, until the end of the battle for each order card with different card names in your bind zone and drop zone. So this just gets really huge, obviously later in the game as you're filling up your bind zone. So this is a really, really good defensive blitz order card. So I, I still like to have it. So then after that, we're gonna be going into our grade ones. Starting off with the normal unit grade ones, we have two copies of Philander, Flander is when it's placed on rear from hand. Look at top five, choose a card, put it in your drop zone, shuffle your deck. So it's really easy just to kind of filter, look for stuff, you know, fill your drop for the deck. It also has a skill during your turn. If your drop zone has 10 or more cards, this gets 10K. So it's a good late game uh, booster. And obviously it can get additional power from order effects or Zorgan Adir's effect when it's called from drop. So it can be a really big old booster. Next, I'm running two copies of True Delis. True Lily's skill is during the battle this boosted. If you have a Vanguard with Zorga, this gets 5K power. And when it boosts a grade three or greater Vanguard with Zorga, it can get an additional 2K. And then if your bind zone has two or more normal orders with different card names, you can choose a rear guard, give it another 10K. And at the end of that turn, you retire it. So just adding more power to that column that you're gonna be restanding with the divine skill is really nice. So I do like having the two copies. And obviously you can kind of play around with your board as you're calling stuff with the effect, so you can just wait to the late game to pull that off. Then I'm running two copies of Spoof Shade. It has two effects. One is when an order card would be discarded from your hand by a card ability, you can discard this card instead as an order card. So that's really good for uh, Ye Wandering Souls. So you can use that to proc that ability. And it has the second effect in the back row. If you outcome magic, this gets 10K. So instead of Philanders where you have to wait to get 10 cards in your drop, you can just get 10K just for alchemy magicking, which is pretty cool. Then I'm running two copies of Sea Breeze Abduction. Just gonna move these over real quick. So what this does is when the attack this unit boosts, it hits, you can bind an order from your drop and then you can choose an order card from your drop and put it in your hand. So basically if you have two orders in your drop zone, one will go to hand, one goes to bind. So this can help fuel your bind zone really quickly. So this is really good for the early game. So I do like to have it for that and you know, just being able to take advantage of those. So it does come in handy. I do like the two copies playing around with it a little bit. Um, you know, this deck kind of can work with like a little bit of a toolbox, so that's nice. So the ratios are manageable. And lastly, for grade ones, I am running one copy of Sleeve Tugging Bell. Uh, this is an interesting choice for a tech and I saw Ken's list when he got second place at Sacramento and I really did like the idea of running Bell. So I'm trying out one copy. So what Bell does, is when it's placed on rear, you can put all your cards from your bind zone into your drop zone and this gets 5K for each card you put. So this is very much like a Hail Mary, I'm going for game, like call this to rear, give it like a ton of power, and then you boost with it, restand the column with the divine skill, get a big old second swing. So I do like this as like a, holy cow, that's a huge number, I can't guard that um, turn. 
And since, you know, it's the one copy, so you can call it from drop, just, you know, as a tech. So I, I'm playing around with it. We'll see how it goes. And then lastly, for our normal unit grade ones, we got three copies of our PGs, which is Honeycomb Thrace, or Thrace. Thrice, Thrios. Anyways, we're gonna move on to the normal orders or the order cards in general. For orders, we have one copy of Omer Coming Unnatural Death, which is kind of blast one. You can bind this card and then you choose up the two orders from your drop zone and you put them back into your hand. So it helps with recycling and obviously this going into the bind zone helps fuel the bind zone. And then one copy of Mithrak Habitat. I like Mithrak a lot because you play it, you look at top seven, you call something, and that's it. And uh, you know, you can bind this and then with Alka Magic, you just keep using it over and over again if you wanna thin out your deck that way. So it's a really good tech and I like it. And then lastly for our order cards, we got one Blitz Order, Elementaria Sanctitude as our fourth Sentinel for the deck. Pretty standard for uh, standard decks. So now we're getting into triggers. We're gonna go ahead and start with our crits, which is four copy of Aspiring Maiden, Alana. Then we got four copies of Peppery Pepper, the very simple vanilla crit. Three copies of Frenzied Eris, four copies of Cheery Support Elf, our heal trigger, and lastly, one copy of Bless Favor, our Stoakea over trigger. So very simple, standard uh, Stoakea trigger lineup here. Fronts, obviously, just to give like huge numbers and we got tons of support cards that help draw things, so we're not really worried about drawing. And the Blessed Favor is also really nice just because, you know, front row gets power, hundo mills somewhere else, an additional crit, healing, so can't go wrong with a, a ninth crit trigger, am I right? But that's pretty much it for the deck profile, so thank you guys for sticking around for this very uh, spooky themed deck. I'm hoping to get used to playing this deck a little more often. It is very similar to Grand Blue for those of you who've played V or Premium or G. So I am slowly getting into playing the Zorga deck and I'm having a lot of fun with it. So hope you guys like this deck. If you have any recommendations or anything you've been trying, I know Zorga list can be a little techy and I'm open to ideas. So send them my way. But with that, thanks again for watching and I hope you have a wonderful Halloween night.